Welcome back to the channel, and we finally finish our arena build at Abernathy Farm. Let's get building! So here we are back at the arena, and we're going to do a little bit of decoration just down on this bottom area here. Put a little bit of advertising in, as we're now used to in every kind of sporting arena that we go to the... the uh, <laughs> The advertising is just off, off the charts pretty much, so we'll just put the last of these flags in and um, put a little bit of advertising. So thanks so much for the uh, last couple of videos, the response to the arena build has been excellent, absolutely excellent and um, you seem to have enjoyed this. Today we'll um, really just put the finishing touches in. We've got a little bit of building to do and then we'll get into the, the final tour. So I'm just varying it up. I'm using um, Better Stores mod and just varying it up. I won't show you all of this. There is a fair bit of advertising that ends up in the uh, in and around the arena, I guess. Um, like I said, it's... Um, what you I guess we expect these days for a modern day kind of um, sporting event so I thought this would be interesting just to, to do it down in, in the pit here and then um, there's a couple of areas that we need to build and um, then we're done so while we're watching why don't we have a little bit of music just to cheer us up <laughs> Okay, job done. So let's hop inside. Now, one thing that is missing in here is that we don't have any kind of convenience stores or anywhere we can just grab a maybe something to eat or something to drink. So we need to fix that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this area here and uh, get rid of that. And I'm just going to put a couple of walls in there and just make it like a little alcove and make it in a couple of little shops. And we'll I'll show you one, but pretty much we will do this across uh, both levels on both sides and you'll see how this all comes together fairly quickly so I'm going to use these little half walls here big wall in the back and then uh, I don't know where we're going we're at we're having a bit of a run I don't know what we're doing so we're, what I tend to do is because I'm I don't want to get out of that tab I'll do all the half walls first and then I'll put the, the full wall in so it saves me just saving a little bit of time so now we put a full wall in the back of here. I'm going to go to the master plan vinyl extensions for the back wall just to give it, just to have a little bit of a different wall. There we go. That's a blue one right there. And put another one on the other side. Just change, just change the look of this one. And um, we need to put a roof in next I don't know what the heck I was doing here I'm having a good look around for something <laughs> anyway let's get back to the building come on concentrate okay so I'm going to use these uh, rusty old roofs that we get with workshop rearranged what this ends up doing though is it ends up substituting is the floor above because i'm going to build the next set of bars shops whatever they might be on top of these so you got one in there one in there yeah and you can see how they just slightly stick out and um, around the corner there 
I'm doing my mandatory running around and uh, just having a good old look to see what's going on, make sure that everything's as it should be. And then we'll start to use, um, I think I use Creative Clutter. Creative Clutter has just had a recent update to that mod. And uh, they've put a whole lot of really, really cool new stuff in, including this bar I'm about to, to use for downstairs here. Um, if I can find it, there it is there. You can see it's got already got the tail on it and some beer pumps, which is just great. And it's perfect for this area. Now, i just got to figure out how far I want this out um, to stick out, because I want to have people sitting at the bar, but I also want to have access past the bar so if I have it sitting out too far they're not we're not going to be able to achieve all that so I'll probably pull it in a fair bit I think that's probably too far in at, at the moment you see he's even got beer kegs wired up there so it just takes me a while to figure out exactly where the right spot is for this um, for this bar I can put stools along there and then there's a little alleyway yeah, I think we still need to push that. Yeah, it needs to go fairly far back, and you can be fairly generous with this. There we go. That's probably better. We don't need a lot of room back here. Um, only just enough room to let a settler in there, and it should be okay. I'm looking for shelves now. This is this cool shelf. This fat man shelf that we've just got. This one is just incredible. And there's a lot of people that love this. You can see that it's got a whole lot of bottles on. I love Creative Clutter. Creative Clutter is one of those mods that if you're not a, a, a really good decorator, it gets you out of trouble every time. And um, let's put the bar stools in here. Like that. One, two, three. Oh, yep. And you can see we kind of created a nice little bar area here. For people just to have a sit down before the either before the events or in between events or whatever and um, have a little bit of a drinky poo and just relax there we go nice it's starting to get late in the day so i apologize if this is looks a little bit dark on screen you can see the sun is well up past the yard arm here it's starting to dip fairly quickly funny enough since i've put this arena in the settlers that are here um, Actually, we spend a lot of time at this particular bar here. Um, come and have a seat and just sit and chill out. Um, so they obviously approve. And I'll very quickly put a um, cart on the other side and then we'll get into the final tour. So it's not a great deal for us to do here today. And just in case you were wondering whether it was a bar, there is no doubt now. Let's move that shelf across just a fraction. There we go. So I'm pretty pleased with the, the overall look of the arena as it's turned out. Ooh, a bit of frame rate drop. Um, it was straight, a pretty straightforward build, but I think when you see the final two, you see all the little be bits and pieces that I've put in that just really start to sell it as a, as a good arena. Now, this is a, I think this is a Nuka-Cola. Is it this one? Or I, think I, I think I go to the I think I go to Creative Clutter again because they've got a Nuka World Um A Nuka World uh, vendors thing here somewhere, if I can f ever find it. Yeah, I'm looking for it. No, it's not in there either. And this is, <laughs> as most of you know, when you're running a lot of mods, this is the, usually the um, usually the trick is to remember where everything is, um, especially when the, you've had a mod that's um, just been updated. It, it can be hard to remember where everything is because you get so used to uh, there it is there you get so used to everything being in a certain place and then it updates and a lot of the time sometimes that they'll move things so i'm just wondering whether i put this outside or whether i put this inside and in the end i end up putting it inside there we go the umbrella does clip through a little bit but it's, it's not too bad I'll put that right there just like that fantastic that handle so it's not clipping through the wall and then that should be us nice and you can see it's got lots of drinks so here's the final tour guys you can see we've got lots of lovely flags flying 
Oh, it's very uh, Australian flag and New California Republic and all kinds of stuff. Just adds to the, the feel of the arena. Um, really does sell it. So let me take you inside and you can see all the additional things that we've put in just to make sure it looks authentic as an arena and it, you'd be happy to come here and pay your money to watch. Um, all the spectacles that would be fit before you. So you can see we've added a whole lot of um, advertising on this outside. Also added all these decorations. And a few issues with the arena signs. I put them on the walls and then I couldn't move them. So hence why they might look a bit strange. Um, let's walk in underneath. And you can see um, the arena is looking pretty schmick now. Lots of advertising absolutely everywhere. Cigarette machine for the lower level. Now the, this lower level is the, is the um, less expensive seats or less expensive viewing area if you like. You can see I've just dressed up the bar a little bit. A little bit further by putting, um, you'll see in a second, I've put in a couple of tables to my right. Here we go. Where you can easily just stand there and have a drink and, and look straight into the pit there. And if you want to have a seat, there's a couple of seats there that you can sit down and relax on. So the main announcer's area has a little bit of a couch in it and somewhere for him to relax. He of course has his microphone um, to announce things, his bell to stop things. He always switches and his cigarettes are there too. So you can keep a good eye from here what's going on. There we go. You pick up lots of little details as I go through. Find a whole lot of really cool um, posters in my, um, my different mods. Duplicated the tables on this side, changed the, the benches a little bit, um, and you can see what's on offer here. You could call it for 20 caps. There you go. I think um, dog meat approves. There's some empty bottles lying around there. There we go. And you can see what's coming soon. If you want to sign up for some of the arena leagues, you can do it right here. Um, no problem. You had a headache, and you could sell to will get you out of trouble. And um, yeah, I got I found a, a whole lot of really neat posters. Now, on each side of the stairs here, I've put a machine. Here's the Nuka Cola machine on this side. We'll go up here, and we have a little bar. You just see it called the Green Fairy. It's a Bohemian Lounge. <laughs> I don't know why it's called the Green Fairy. And then I've put a whole seating area in up here. It's a pretty easy thing to do, but it looks really nice, really effective. And you can see it gives a tremendous view. And of course, these seats up here are a little bit more expensive. Um, then they are downstairs. You get a little bit more comfortable too. So we have a little bit of a noodle bar. Nuka noodles right here. A little bit of a noodle bar if you're hungry. And then we have a little VIP area. Just here. It's all roped off. Red carpet is rolled out ready for you. And obviously this is for the high rollers in here. There's lots of little snacks they can grab if they want. They, they got plenty of um, drinks there. Comfy couches. Really nice VIPs area. And of course they have their own bar up here too. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you've enjoyed this arena build. I, I hope to have it done in two videos. It just wasn't possible. So hence why this is a little bit shorter. But it was very enjoyable. So thanks for it. Right, so we'll just show you the Vim. Here we go. Vim. Thanks for watching the channel guys. Thanks for supporting me. And we'll catch you next time.